Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. Today I want to talk about gradients. Now, when you think of a gradient, most people know of the gradient ramp effect. And I'll just apply that right now. Let's go to Effects, Generate, Gradient Ramp. Or it could just be called Ramp depending on what version of After Effects you're on. And it adds a little gradient. We've got this Start Ramp. I can put this there. And let's go to the end of the ramp. And right there. And I can kind of get a gradient. Now, what most people don't realize is there's another way of doing gradients, and they both have their advantages and disadvantages. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the gradient ramp, and I'm going to go to Layer, Layer Styles, Gradient Overlay. Now, here is the gradient overlay. Uh, right at first, it looks about the same, but instead of having an effect um, up in the effects controllers, it's actually a layer style, and there's some different options to it. So if we come down and look at this, let me just bring this up. Um, I can come in here and the first thing I like is I can change the angle, which is cool. I can just rotate that around. That's nice. Um, there's some smoothness to it. Change the opacity right on the layer. Um, but I've got the style. We have linear, radial, and there's angle, reflected, and diamond. Um, the gradient ramp doesn't have these other three. So it just does some different types of gradients. And I, I can put this on. Let's put this on the background. I'm going to just copy and paste this, paste this onto the white background. And so there is diamond, radial, angle, which looks like that. Reflected, which is pretty cool. Now what's also neat about this, let's just go to linear, is I can add way more than just a simple black to white gradient or any color to any color. I can hit this edit gradient and it brings up this. Now if you're familiar with the gradient tools and shape layers, this is the same thing. So if I wanted to say have a three color gradient, I could come in here, add a color in the center and say I want it to be red there, black at the top, and maybe this bottom one can be yellow, you know, because it looks like the German flag. And you can do some cool things. Now not only can I adjust how you know m infinite amount of colors I can do all sorts of cool stuff I can also do the same thing with the opacity so this top um, part um, these stops up here I can have this at different opacities so it's going from as it sweeps across it's going from zero opacity to 100 percent so that is the gradient overlay as a layer style. If you haven't played around with it, go check it out. Some lots of cool stuff you can do. Um, and the same thing it goes on all of them. So really kind of a neat thing. Um, again, it's not for everyday use. It's not for everything. But there may be a time when you just need more than just a black to white gradient. And so check out the layer styles gradient overlay.